Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to SevTech Ages. Uh, if you don't know what this is, yes, it is Minecraft, but it is also a heavily, heavily modded version of Minecraft with a twist. It's actually a tech, tech level based age progression. Uh, currently, I'm in a Stone Age, and I'm gonna tell you right now, it sucks. I have I've already got myself up to almost the modern age in a playthrough I was doing, and it's been quite a grind. That's all the things I can make right now as we progress the game. I'm going to pause this because I don't trust the fact that it's actually pausing. Uh, this is how we progress through the, the stages. The purple ones are actually what get us to the next stages. So we'll have to do basically follow the lines to move on. So here we are in the main tutorial and we got to gather a few things. we got to gather plant fibers to make plant twine which we are going to be using quite a bit as rope for now or string sorry and then we got to get some flint some sticks and all that stuff and go from there uh, crafting this game is terrible too because uh, right now we don't actually have a crafting table and we got to go from there so let's find ourselves a nice field uh, we will have to watch out for nutrition too as the more we have these bars filled up the higher the health we have uh, there's a few interesting mods too. Let's see if I can do this. You can pick up, it's got carry on, so you can actually pick up small mobs and inventories and stuff. Uh, you'll see the rocks here. Uh, it sounds like clay. That will be unlocked in another stage as an ore. That is a stone. And you go from there. Uh, a lot of the mobs too aren't unlocked right away. One of the things we're going to have to watch out for definitely is uh, wolves. Wolves are terrible. They're small wolves, big wolves, uh, dire wolves, step wolves, all sorts of different animals, and they're not friendly. Uh, skeletons are about the useless mob in the game at the moment because they don't actually have any uh, any bows. There is actually no range projectile in this game. So we get these plant fibers by breaking grass. We put put them, three of them in a crafting grid and give us plant twine. Now we use plant twine with a stick, it gives us a torch, but it's a terrible torch. And I will show you what I mean. Go like this, and like that gives us an unlit fiber torch, and we still have to light that. But it gives us a little over half the light of a normal torch. So that is something we will have to focus on too. Uh, i got to also grab some gravel here, if I can find some. Because flint is basically basically going to be our first tool for a while. Uh, let's see if we can find some gravel here without falling into a hole. Uh, there is some gravel right here. All right, so we'll grab some gravel, and then we got to make a. I think it's just called a basic mesh. Uh, if you notice too, there's no map. It's a little. Uh, no court. Oh, sorry. No coordinates up in any of these menus here, because it's supposed to be difficult. So what we gotta do is gonna take two plant twines, two plants, and two sticks, and it gives us a grass fiber mesh. We use that mesh with the gravel, and it gives us flint. Now there's a, another mechanic called in-world flaking, where we take the take uh, take the flint and hit it up against a piece of stone. If I can find some stone, there uh, should be some stone down here, yes. And there we go, it breaks off and we get uh, flint chips. And we can use these for making axes and our first pickaxe. So let's go up here and let's go ahead and make our first, first axe. These rocks are going to be our first crafting, crafting tool. So we're gonna go ahead and grab some, grab some logs. I gotta pay attention to the day too. We're gonna have to dig ourselves in pretty quick. All right, now normally you would put this in your crafting kit and get wood that way, but first we have to make a chopping block. Put the chopping block down. We grab our wood and we place it down. I dropped that because I don't know what it is yet. Unfamiliar item. So I can't actually hold that and already drop it. Uh, I will unlock it later on. It is, I think those are hemp seeds. 
But yeah, anyways, then we just hit the log with our axe and get two planks. Fun. Yes, this is what we do. Okay, so we have that. So let's go back to our advancements here and see what's next. Oh yes, the crafting table. Oh, the fun crafting table. Let's actually make another one of those. We put that on top, log on the bottom, and we have a crafting table. Crafting stump. And we have went to the next age, apparently. So we take a rock, put it in our crafting kit, we get a crafting rock. So we actually have to hit the stump with the rock to make stuff. Yes, that is how it is. Oh, we're still in the first stage. And that gets us up into leather and storage and all that stuff. I uh, do have to get some bones. Uh, and I also have to make a uh, flint pickaxe. Um, I can't remember how to make that. Let's find out. It's been so long since I've used this thing. Okay, I thought we actually needed the leather cordage, but leather is probably one of the most grindiest things in this game I have ever had to do. And sadly, even at this stage 5, I still have to do it. I could just do it a little more automated. Alright, so this is how we craft. We grab all our things, so we need a rock too. We actually have to place the items in the crafting grid. We can only do th one thing at a time with this table. We do that, and we beat it, and there we go. We, <laughs> that's how we have to craft stuff. We are trying to make a bunch of torches. It is not fun. But let's see if we can find a place to set up home. Well, it's only midday right now, but we should be okay. Um, can I make a shovel yet? I can't remember that. I'm going to try to get some gravel if I can. Oh, I can make stone tools already. Well, I think we're going to do that then instead. Yeah, stone is so much better. So let's go find a place to dig in. Uh, let's actually make some more torches. Actually, no, we can't. I gotta go get some more stuff. And there's a. I want to see if they have it in here. It's this scythe. No, we can't actually make it yet. It's a shame. Anyway, uh, grab some sticks, grab some stones, and. Be on our merry way. We'll leave that one. We'll leave that. Mark, take that. Uh, or distribution in this pack is a little different than regular Minecraft. It's not just randomly generated throughout the world. It's all chunk based. So this chunk here, this could be lapis, it could be redstone, it could be iron. I won't know. And I will not know until we get further on the pack. Uh, sticks, by the way, if I want to actually make sticks, I have to make them the same way that I cut the, cut the logs. I have to put the planks on there. And then I get sticks. And there's a few other things we gotta really gotta try to farm in this pack. This happens to be one of them. Sugar cane. We're gonna need a lot of that. That's gonna be how we make wool. And yeah, oh yeah. It's, uh, where are we gonna go dig in? I should actually go find that lava. There's some lava over here. I want to light a torch. So in that way I have a torch to light. Uh, where are my torches? Well, my only torch. Uh, we, there is other ways you can make torches. Let's actually do that. We make these fire sticks. One in your offhand. And then one down here. And I think that's a bug because it automatically gives it to you. But... Let's go ahead and set something on fire, shall we? <laughs> sure, we'll do this. Oh. Where did my torch go? I lost my torch. Well, let's try this again. I'm sorry, I'm having a derp moment here. Alright. There you go, you right click, there you go, and then you right click any fired source, and then you get your lit torch. Now I'll continue burning, uh, like I said, it's not the greatest light level, 
but it's going to have to do. Uh, I don't know if we can do it now, but we're going to make tiki torches too, where I craft them with a couple of sticks, and then we actually have some uh, better torches. Now, I'm going to make a run for it across the water. This is not smart because we do have piranha in the game. And it's getting dark. This isn't good. Alright, let's uh, go dig myself in. So we go in. Same old, same old. I'm gonna get in here and probably dig a little bit of rock while I do this. And that's the wrong torch. There you go, that's the wonderful light level these things give. So I will see you in the morning. All right, the sun's almost come up. As you can see, I replaced uh, the stone in here. Try to get a little bit of grass in here for the time being. I went ahead and make some stone tools too, since they're unlocked. Uh, next thing we have to do is we have to work on making a work blade, which we're gonna be using quite a bit. It's actually a handy tool because it allows you to make ladders in stone walls like uh, this green schist here for instance and yes we will get a whale eventually uh, again eventually same with journey map uh, same too with the stones I was worried about going around picking up these rocks I actually forgot that you can downcraft them and you can also 3x3 three three them to get back into cobble so that is good uh, that's actually something we can use for the next thing we got to make is our camping stove or our fire pit, I believe it was. What was it? Yes. Fire pit, but we also need a stone grill. So we need some. Let's actually go ahead and craft this right now while we're waiting. Let Spidey go do his thing there and then calm down a little bit. So this is going to be our first furnace. Or it's going to be a little while before we get a furnace. There's also a little spot here to store your crafting rock. Oh, I got the recipe wrong, did I not? Oh, apparently it does have to be polished. Hmm. I don't have any dye right here, so we'll have to make that later. Uh, we'll have to get some clay then. And clay, we make uh, clay kiln, and then we put that over a fire a heat source, and we use that for making bricks and buckets and polished stone and thatch. We'll have to worry about getting thatch as we get leather so we can actually make a sleeping bag. Sleeping bag. And that's how we sleep. Anyways, uh, I do believe Spidey is done. Yes. So let's get out of here. We gotta get some food too. Oh my god, I forgot how slow I was. I admire the world there. I had Tinker's Armory and you can redstone the armor and actually get speed boosts. Uh, there will be oil. Ooh, that was a close one. <laughs> I was going to say there was, there will be, uh... Oh, I lost my trade of thought there. Creeper can ruin your day. Uh, yes. Uh, I actually forgot what I was saying now. But anyways. Let's go ahead and kill some sheep. We need string, we need... Food, we need leather, and my heart needs to slow down, guys. <laughs> I'm a little. Oh yeah, the mobs too. And the way I love how the spiders move. The zombies are the same too. Come on, there you go. Thank you. Oh, my heart's still racing for that creeper. Something like here, they might hiss just before it goes. All right, so we do have some mutton. We got some sheep. Good. And I gotta remember to get some coal too. But oh, there's a lot of sheep around here. Nice. My other world had uh, nothing but horses. Okay, for uh, for meat and leather, but they're terrible for wool. So let's grab some more wood while we're here, out here. And I gotta grab some plant fibers too. We'll go ahead and grab this. There's a whole bunch of different types of wood in the game, too. Uh, 
and different things like uh, you probably see the mineral trees there. We can't, even, we don't even know what they are right now. Uh, there's also a little dark wood from uh, what was it, abyssal craft? I think it was. No, we don't need that. Uh, we'll leave that be. I probably don't need, don't even know what that is. It doesn't help much not having a wheel, huh? But that's actually something I forgot to do too. I was gonna upgrade my torches up to totem torches. Let's go over here and see what we have. I actually lost my lost my home. <laughs> uh, where did I go? Where's my little dig in? Uh oh. I think I was over here. Just look for the creeper explosion. It's around here somewhere. to this. Okay, here it is. Alright, uh, hmm. Let's burn the trade out. <laughs> That's a good sign. Uh, let's see what we got here. Yeah, I'll waste my cobble. Why not? Just so I can see. Alright, what do we need? We need more plant fibers. Now we just go ahead and run to the run to the meadow, breaking all the grass. I was hoping there'd be a tree scythe because it clears like a two chunk area. I love just holding down the left right click button and just hammering the grass. Sadly with this grass though you can't actually grow it. I don't know if the stuff grows back or not. But uh definitely useful. Not as useful as having a proper marker to find out where your hole your you know, a little basis. Okay, so we're midday right now. I might have to get some more cobble, make a taller pillar. Until I recognize the area. I need to eat something. Uh, I haven't got, gotten any apples yet. They should be oak trees, right? Apparently not, because I'm not getting any apples out of them. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm going to have to cook something then. Which means I need clay. I'm sure I could eat that raw. I could. <laughs> not exactly the smartest idea. Hmm. Alright, well, that's what we're going to do then. Because I probably won't be able to swim across. So we go in here, and... We need fire sticks, we need clay, that's what we need. Where is clay? Hello, anybody seen some clay around? I'd make it if I knew how. I don't know if he can make it in this back. Hmm, there's some clay. No, that's not clay. That's sand. Curse you. Alright, I gotta find some clay here. I'll be right back. Okay, I found some clay. It's just floating to the surface now. I gotta be careful, because... Of those stupid piranhas. No, 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 no. I'm dead. Oh, you... Suffocate, you bastard. I don't think so. Whew, that was close. <laughs> Alright. Let's get back in here where it's safe. I heard that. Okay, first of all, uh, let me get a, get a bunch of junk out of my inventory. Get rid of that, and that, and that. Useless flowers. Alright, first, let's get. Yeah, you actually have to shift right click to get stuff out of the crafting table. Okay, and get those stones out of there. I get the. No, oh, no, I can't do the clay yet. I gotta do the slabs, and just so happens I have enough. And where's my rock? 
And it's funny that uh, Piranha's still out there. Still trying to get me. Oh, yeah, we'll need salt too for cooking and leathering and other fun stuff. Okay, so we have that. So now let's put this somewhere where it's not going to burn, actually. You should get a couple more torches too. Oh, that's not gonna uh, not gonna work like that. You gotta do that. Make three of them. Okay, and then I think I have to have to light these for this this torch. Uh, this is an interesting mod pack too. This or this mod uh, totemic. Okay, so it's got to be lit. Uh, it allows you to make really cheap beacons. And yeah, that's okay. Let's pick that up. Thank you. So then we go one there. And the joys of primitive crafting one at a time. But then we get those, and I'll show you them as soon as I have some inventory space. They actually give us a proper light level. There you go, proper light. So we can get rid of this ugly thing and go from there. So now the next thing I do is we gotta get that clay cooking. That was uh, something weird there. I have no idea what it was. And now what we gotta do? Oh, this green schist is such tough rock. Okay, so what we're going to do is we actually have to, hmm, uh, inventory management at its finest. And yeah, we'll have to make some sort of chest eventually. So what we're going to do is we're going to place a log down there. We are going to place our clay kiln on top. And I'm going to put a piece of charcoal in there as well. So as soon as I light this, it's going to burn out, obviously, but it's going to not only fire the kiln, but it should turn that log into a block of charcoal, which will burn indefinitely. All right, so now we go ahead and make that. And that. And there we go. Give that a second, and that'll go brown, that'll fire, and then that log should turn into charcoal. And that log will burn out. Come on. And... It's almost like these things have to reach a certain temperature. That's not... Maybe because it has to be put in after the kiln's been fired. I do not know, but it will work eventually. There it is. Okay. So now we can get rid of that. Get that log back. Oh, I didn't know you could place sticks on the ground like that. That's interesting. Hmm. Learn something new every day. All right. Now, unfortunately, we can't light that. With that, we have to make a new pair of these every time we do this, for now. Okay, and that'll burn indefinitely. So now we can either cook food in there, or I can cook cobble in there and uh, get some proper stone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna First, have a bite to eat, let that cook. I'm gonna grab some stone and I'll bring you back when I've got the uh, uh, stone grill ready. Okay, for some reason I wasn't, <clears throat> wasn't cooking in there, so I guess I'm just gonna have to make the stone grill. And so what I'm gonna do is get another charcoal going while I, while I craft this. It's pretty sad when you actually have to do something else while you're crafting something as simple as, something as simple as that. There we go. 
Don't grill me, please. Yeah, same thing. We'll drop this one down here. And they like us so. And of course, we have to do the, the fire sticks again. And then the stone grill can go like that. Now, this will actually hold, allow us to place up to 16 items in there. And then when it's cooked, it goes on to the right side. Uh, the fire pit's a little different. You actually have to add fuel to it, and you can only cook one thing at a time. So I went with this because we're going to have to make that anyways. And there we go. We have food. And of course, we can get the bread and make better sa uh, sandwiches and stuff like that. So the next part of the progression is going to be making the work blade. And that is going to be helping us make leather and... Like I said, stairs, we're going to need it for getting bark, too. Okay. There we go. Now I got four of them. All right, and this is a fairly simple recipe. This tool cannot be repaired, unfortunately. Hello, Mr. Zombie. I know you'd like to come in for dinner, but I'm not taking any guests tonight. And, I mean, it's just dinner for one tonight. All right, there is our work blade. Now this is a cool tool, because you make ladders. Make ladders out of you. Oh, you can make stairs out of dirt too. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't actually know about that. Let's try that again. Hmm. Meanwhile, up top, we've got a ground full of staircases. All right, so the work blade is also going to be helping us get string. We take the fleece, we can do that to get string, or we can two by two that to get turn that back into fleece. And we're just going to do that for now because we will need it. Uh, same with hides. We we'll take the hides, use the work blade, and it gives us raw hide. And then with the raw hide, we have to mix it with water and salt. Um, water will be the bladder, but we have to get some dyes for that because we need brown dye for it, and that's basically our first bucket. It's just basically a water sack. So then when we take the water sack, one of the raw hides, which I forgot, didn't actually craft. One of these raw hides, water and salt, and you get salted hide, you hang it on a drying rack for two minutes, and you get uh, salted hide. And then you have to take resin off a log. Uh, I won't be able to no, I won't have, be able to make the bladder yet, but we'll. I think we'll do that next episode. We're actually going to call this one here pretty quick. You just go over the mechanics, place a log, and then you take the work blade, which is here, and then you get bark. And this bark, you got to grind this in the grindstone to get resin, and that's how you actually tan hides, but we need, need water for that. Uh, storage too. I actually forgot about the storage, which means I gotta cut a few more logs. And how many does that give me? 14. Let's do one more so I can get two of them. Now we don't actually have proper chests. We have cupboards, we have shelves, and we have something else. And we have cupboards which hang on the wall. We have shelves, which hang on the well, wall, but I think have a have a door, and it's just a different type of crafting recipe. On this one, you have the stone on the top. And then, and then, uh, that was a cabinet. That was a shelf. Cupboard. Uh, the cupboard is going to be in the middle, or at the bottom. And then you have the chest, which I don't really like which is in the middle because it's a, it's a full block like that, but it's going to be the same sort of mechanic as the rest of them. I'll show you what it is I prefer the cupboards, though, just because it's easier to get stuff in and out of them. And that's going to be this stone on the bottom. So we'll go ahead and get our planks there and our stones there and our, our multi-rock there. I'm going to call it a multi-rock because it's a... Um, Multiple to crafting tool now. It was on the bottom. Okay. So we do that, that, and 
Aha, storage. And I don't know if this is actually going to burn or not, so we'll, we will place it here as soon as the lag stops. And I made the wrong one. Yes, I made the one with the stupid thing, so... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's that carry on to. Give me my stupid axe back. Really? You won't actually let me take it out. Okay, that's better. All right, as I was saying, that is not the one I wanted. I wanted a shelf, which is this one. That's the one I want, because it's got no door. So we'll put a cupboard in our shelf, <laughs> just for ironic purposes. All right, so there we go. Now this is this is our main storage for quite some time. Uh, what else can we put in here? Shirt clean cane. I'll have to get that planted and growing because we are going to need that. String can go there. We can hold twelve items in here. I think it was twelve. Uh, come on. Oh, sixteen. All right, and then we hold shift, and you can actually see your item counts. And these logs here that we've stripped already, we can actually place those on our choppy block and get our planks out of them. Now for a while we're only going to be getting two planks out of every log. Uh, once we get into better than mods, and we're actually going to get the, the saw where it goes up to six per, per log. But anyways, I think we're going to call that one here. Uh, we've got ourselves uh, set up. It's nice and raining. Uh, next episode, we're going to get ourselves into some leather and probably get ourselves a sleeping mat. But anyways, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.